Chattanooga is honestly one of the coolest cities for its size. I mean, there's a ton going on here. So I'm going to give you a little bit of context and just the overall description of what Chattanooga is and what it's all about. And then we're going to take you and really show you all these different areas that we're talking about here. So this is downtown. And just to give you an idea, the population of Chattanooga is just right around 180,000. The metro is just 500,000, a little over 500,000 actually. So it's not a huge area, but it has a really cool downtown. So what you have here is your downtown with like your true downtown over on this side. And then this side on the north side of the river is really more of the trendy kind of up and coming area, but it's an incredible waterfront that they built through here. So these buildings back here in the background are the Tennessee Aquarium. It's a super nice aquarium. And then you have all kinds of restaurants and shops, some really nice hotels and apartments back here. But then you have this walking bridge called Walnut Street Bridge, and it connects the main part of downtown to the north side. And then you have more restaurants and shops over here on the north side. So an absolutely great area to come and hang out. Really what Chattanooga offers that a lot of other cities don't offer though, is these surrounding mountains and the views. So if you look out here in the background, you have these mountains everywhere and you have neighborhoods and homes that sit up on these mountains with views out over the valley, out over the city. So you're not really gonna find that in a lot of other towns. And that's one of the things that really sets Chattanooga apart. All right, I'm gonna stop real quick and tell you everything that we're gonna go over in this video. We're gonna show you a little bit more around downtown. We're also gonna show you five different neighborhoods around Chattanooga. A couple of them brand new neighborhoods, some of them older. We're gonna show you kind of the trendy up and coming neighborhood close to downtown. Show you two mountaintop communities with incredible views. Both of them have golf courses as well. We're gonna show you the shopping areas. I'm also gonna to talk to you about four pros of living in Chattanooga throughout the video. And then at the very end, I'm gonna give you a list of four cons to living in Chattanooga. A couple of the cons on that list can be a pretty big deal, could be a deal breaker for some people. So make sure you stick around for that. So this is on the north side of downtown and we're really still just about two minutes out from downtown, literally like a five minute walk. But these are all the neighborhoods. So downtown continues across the bridge. You know, you can walk from downtown where we just were and get over to all these other shopping areas, restaurants, everything that's on the North Shore. And then Coolidge Park is down there as well. But then these neighborhoods come up along this hill. And this is really kind of like the up and coming area, really the trendy area of Chattanooga where a lot of the homes are being renovated. This one, for example, behind us is for sale. This is a three bedroom, three bathroom. It is about about 2000 square feet and it's listed for 700,000. So just to give you an idea of the prices of homes in here and the reason that this one and the, the homes in this neighborhood are more expensive is you're actually walkable to the downtown area from here. You know, it's a bit of a walk, but you could bike there in just a couple minutes. So, you know, anybody that likes to be kind of in that urban environment, this is a a great area to be. You can also get views that look out over downtown, you know, coming up on this hill, you look out over the downtown and you're really convenient. So that is what this area has to offer. This is the North Shore. And then as you go back over this way, you have access to a grocery store. You have uh, a country club over here on this side, just a few minutes away. So if you wanna be close to downtown and still have the country club and the big, beautiful homes, you have access to all of that over here. So a very really nice convenient area to downtown and really offers a lot as far as that urban type lifestyle. And that brings me to pro number one for Chattanooga, which is the downtown and urban area. So Chattanooga has a great downtown, but not only does it have a great downtown, it also has a great downtown connection to these residential areas. So pro number one of Chattanooga is definitely the downtown area and everything that that has to offer. By the way, if this is your first time on this channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Tennessee, tap the subscribe button, hit that bell for notification. So you'll be the first to learn about everything going on in Tennessee. 
My name is Forrest McCullough, and we are a team of real estate agents in Tennessee that help people make that move to Tennessee every single day. So if you are thinking about making that move, feel free to shoot us a text, give us a call, or send us an email, and we'd love to connect. All our contact information is in the description below. If you're thinking about making the move, but you're not really sure what part of Tennessee you wanna be in, we have videos of towns and cities all around Tennessee. So check out our channel for those videos. If you still have questions that aren't answered, we would love to get on a phone call with you and help you decide which part of Tennessee would be the right fit for you and your family. And then what we would do is we have a, a team of agents that we can connect you with local in the different markets to help you when the time comes to make that move. So. Like I said, our contact information is down in the description. Our number will be on the screen here. Feel free to reach out to us anytime and make sure you save that information for when the time comes. So this is one of my favorite places to come for a day trip. You know, me and my wife live about an hour and a half away from Chattanooga up in Knoxville, but we love to come down here for just like a day long date. And this is one of our favorite areas to come to. Really what we love to do is spend the time, spend the day on the riverfront. So you have the aquarium right out here and we love going to the aquarium. But then there's this beautiful walkway that goes along the riverfront. So we love to walk up and then up on top of this hill here is called the Bluff View Art District. So love to spend time down there at the aquarium and in that downtown area, walk along the riverfront up here to the Bluff View Art District. There is a uh, Italian restaurant called Tony's Pasta Shop that we love to go to. And then Rembrandt's Coffee is up here as well. So we love to come up here, grab some dinner, grab a coffee and just end the day. So really Chattanooga on you know, a nice fall or spring day, just spending time outside downtown is hard to beat. And as we continue to walk down the hill here, kind of come to like the main part of downtown, which is where the Tennessee Aquarium is and several other attractions that really Chattanooga is known for. So there's a ton going on in the downtown area down here. Another thing I would say Chattanooga is kind of known for is just being like an outdoor active type area. So check out, you can see downtown uh, kind of just stretching out here in the background. And then High Point right here is a climbing wall and fitness facility. So there's a ton of just different outdoor and fitness active type activities. Of course, the aquarium here is one of the big uh, draws to people visiting the area, but a ton to do in the downtown area here. So this is Signal Mountain, and this really demonstrates one of the things that is really special about Chattanooga. I mean, check out these views out behind me. So you've got all these mountains that surround Chattanooga, and actually pro number two that I wanted to talk about is the views that you can get in Chattanooga. So you've got these mountains that surround the city, and you can get out just about 15 minutes away from downtown and get these incredible mountain views. So this is one side of Signal Mountain, the other side actually looks out over downtown Chattanooga and there are a bunch of homes that sit along. And so you can get incredible views out over downtown, but this side just looks out over the mountains. And then the other thing is you have a ton of hiking trails up here. So you've got the neighborhoods, you've got the hiking trails, and then these views that look out over the valley and out over downtown Chattanooga. This is up in the neighborhoods of Signal Mountain and really Signal Mountain is not that much of a town. It's more just of a neighborhood feel. So there is a coffee shop and a grocery store, a gas station. So there are a few things up here that you have access to, but mostly it's just these neighborhoods. And a lot of the neighborhoods up here are really fairly old, but a lot of the homes have been renovated and uh, are really well taken care of. So these homes out here behind us are a lot of what you're gonna find up here, a lot of these homes are really just in the 1,000 square foot to 2,000 square foot range, you know, two to four bedroom. And they start in the 400,000. So even the two and three bedroom homes are gonna start in the 400,000s. But then you have a lot of these really big homes as well that go up into the multi-millions of dollars. So there's really a, a wide range of everything. But the reason that these homes are so much more up here than they would be, you know, down in the valley is because just everything you have up here, the views, the nature, the walking trails. There's a really nice country club, Signal Mountain Country Club that you have. The schools up here are some of the highest rated schools in the entire Chattanooga area. So you have uh, K through 12 up here on Signal Mountain so you don't have to go down the mountain. 
for school access. There are a couple private schools as well. So you have the highly rated schools, the country club, the you know, the coffee shop, grocery store, but then just the views and the walking trails. So it's a really, really uh, pretty area to live in. And that just, of course, drives the price up a little bit. But again, for these two bedroom, three bedroom size homes, you're gonna start in the 400 thousands and then just go up from there. So this community is called Black Creek Chattanooga. It's a new development. Well, not new, it's been being developed for several years, but there are still a ton of new homes and new sections of development in here. It's about 15 minutes out from downtown, so really pretty convenient. You have beautiful new construction homes. You have a golf course, and then a lot of the homes sit up actually on top of the mountain here with more incredible views. These homes that are in this section right here, anywhere from 3,000 to 4,000 square feet, gonna be starting in the 800,000s up to 1 million, 1.2 million. So a lot of homes in that price range, but there are some homes that are a little bit further down the mountain. They're gonna start in the four and 500,000s, but really most of what you're gonna get in here is gonna be 500,000 plus. So what you get is you get convenience to downtown, you get amenities with the golf course and the pool, the rec center, and then you have all these new homes that are coming in. So if you're looking for a new home and you wanna be you know, convenient to downtown, you wanna have all the amenities, this is probably one of the very best options. You know, there are a couple other new developments, River Gorge Ranch and, and Jasper Highlands, but those are significantly further away from Chattanooga. Honestly, if you're commuting to Chattanooga, those are a little bit more inconvenient. So as far as anything that's really close to Chattanooga with all of the amenities, this is probably gonna be your best bet. So this is at the top of the mountain of Black Creek and you have another incredible view looking out over here. And so this is really what we wanted to point out. You know, we mentioned that one of the things that you can get around Chattanooga is these incredible views. Downtown is just right there, right in the valley. And then you have Black Creek here this mountain over here is Lookout Mountain, so you have more neighborhoods up there as well. And then Signal Mountain, where we were just a minute ago, is just the next mountain range over. But what you get is you get these incredible views that look out over the city, out over the valley, and you're literally just 15 minutes out from downtown. There is no other place in Tennessee where you can get in really a city type setting and still have these views. You know, if you're up in the Smoky Mountains, for example, in one of the vacation type towns, you're not really gonna have all the amenities that a city has to offer. So that's one of the things about Chattanooga that really, really sets it apart is all the mountains that are just right here next to the city. And then out here, so we have the view looking out here, and these are actually home sites that sit along the edge of this ridge. So up here on the top, there are spec homes being built. So there are homes for sale, but a lot of these are custom homes. So you can come in and purchase a lot and then have a home built on it. But these are lots that sit along this ridge out here. They're gonna have a view out over the mount, out over the valley and these lots are gonna be up close to a million dollars, but you can get in one of these interior lots for of course a lot less and still be on top of the mountain, still enjoy the scenery and have access to coming out here and enjoying this view. But this is one of the newest sections of development in Black Creek up on top of this mountain. And then the rest of the, the development is down the hill here. You have the golf course that you look out over and the knoll, which is the new neighborhood partway down the mountain where we just were. And then of course, all the amenities that you have down at the bottom as well. Before we go any further, let's talk about pro number three to living in Chattanooga. And that's all the attractions. We already mentioned the aquarium, but then there are a bunch of other things just around the city. I mean, people come from out of town just to, just to go to these things, but they're also super cool to have if you live in town. So you've got the aquarium downtown and right outside of town, you have Lookout Mountain. Now Lookout Mountain almost is an attraction just by itself. You have Point Park, so you can get up there and explore that incredible views from up there. On top of the mountain, there is also something called Rock City, which is a super cool attraction. You also have Ruby Falls about halfway up the mountain. It's a, a huge waterfall in a cave under Lookout Mountain. And there's just a ton. There's, there's uh, Civil War battlegrounds and a lot of history around Chattanooga as well. So that's pro number three, a ton of attractions, a ton to do just all around the city. So this is the farms at Creekside, and this is kind of out in the suburbs. So we're gonna show you a couple of these brand new developments out in the suburbs. 
and this one has homes starting in the 400,000s. This one right here behind me is listed for 485 right now, currently under construction. Looks like it'll be completed up here in a couple months. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom, right around 2,000 square feet. All the homes out here are hardy board siding or brick, really nicely finished. So these three bedroom, two bathrooms starting in the upper 400,000s, this one 45, and then they go up from there. You have another one listed right down the road here for 545. It's a 2,700 square foot home with four bedrooms, three bathrooms. So that's basically the range you're gonna find in here. You can get up to the four bedroom, three bathroom, gonna be in the mid 500,000s. But this is out kind of in the suburbs, up, up towards Ottawa. And as you get further out from downtown, obviously you're gonna be able to get more home for uh, less money. And you know, this is also a lot closer to where the newer shopping areas are. So we're gonna take you out there in just a minute and show you the shopping areas. But this area out here in the suburbs is gonna be more convenient to the shopping, although it is gonna be further away from downtown. Pro number four to living in Chattanooga is the weather. And there are a few different aspects to this. The first one I wanna talk about is you get all four seasons. So we have a lot of people that move from up north, a lot of people also that move from south down in Texas, down in Florida. And what a lot of those people are looking for are all four seasons. You know, Florida, great weather during the winter. Up north, great weather during the summer. But Tennessee, kind of right there in the middle. So not only is it mild, but you get a true winter, spring, summer, and fall. You know, you get the fall colors, you get a little bit of snow in the winter, although not very much. You get some hot days in the summer. So you really just get that full range that a lot of people really like. The other aspect to it is it's mild. You don't have a lot of extreme weather. Obviously you don't have hurricanes because we're not on the coast, but you also don't have many tornadoes here. Middle Tennessee, we get questions about this all the time. Middle Tennessee does have quite a few tornadoes. East Tennessee, which is where Chattanooga is, does not get many tornadoes. Chattanooga sits between two mountain ranges. And so the weather that comes from Middle Tennessee, as it moves through, the mountain ranges kind of break it up and really help to just protect the area from those extreme storms. So every now and then you do get tornadoes that will come through East Tennessee, but it is much less common than Middle Tennessee. So this community here is called Reflections and you actually have homes in here starting in the mid 300,000s. This one right down the street here is 1,300 square feet, a three bedroom, two bathroom, just 384,000. So brand new home, 384,000. And they go up from there. This gray one right here is a four bedroom, four bathroom. It's around 2,500 square feet. And this one is listed for 495,000. So again, that price range, mid 300,000s up into the mid 500,000s. And these are all obviously brand new homes. There is again, a huge section for development out here in the back. So there's a bunch of homes under construction through here. And then uh, a large section that has not even been developed out here. So a ton of opportunity still to get in to these new construction developments. You know, as I mentioned, people come in and they buy these lots oftentimes before a home is even started. That way you can pick out some of your selections, have the floor plan that you really want that really works for your family. So this is just another community where you're gonna be able to do that. Again, floor plans starting around 1300 square feet like this white one down the street here, uh, three bedroom, two bathroom, and you can get all the way up to the four bedroom, four bathroom. So this is Hamilton Place. This is the main shopping area for pretty much all of Chattanooga. You've got your shopping mall out here behind me with all your department stores. And then the whole surrounding area has a ton of other stores. You've got, you know, the Lowe's, the Home Depot, the Best Buy, several grocery stores. So really everything that you could need as far as shopping. And then of course you have all the smaller stores as well, the restaurants. And this sits about 20 minutes out from downtown. So if you're looking for that shopping area where you can really have access to any kind of shopping you could need, this is where you're gonna be coming. Now, this brings me to the list of cons that I wanted to talk about for Chattanooga. And we're gonna go through four cons, but the first one that I wanted to mention is that this shopping area, while it's a great shopping area, you have access to a ton of stuff, 
it's very inconvenient for a lot of the neighborhoods around Chattanooga. Now, the neighborhoods, the two new uh, brand new developments that we showed you are pretty close by to here. So kind of out here in the suburbs, there are some areas that are convenient to this, but the areas that we showed you around downtown and then Signal Mountain, Lookout Mountain, Black Creek, all those are gonna be, depending on traffic, they can be up to a 45 minute drive sometimes because traffic kind of gets bad through there. So if you're on that side of Chattanooga, you don't really have access to anything like this and you're gonna be looking at a 45 minute drive just to get over here and do your shopping. So to me, that's the number one con of Chattanooga is just the inconvenience of being able to get to this shopping area from really where a lot of the residential parts of Chattanooga are. Now, of course, there are grocery stores over in those areas, but that's pretty much all you have access to. There's not even a Target over on that side. So if you wanna do anything other than go to a grocery store, then it's kinda of gonna be a long drive for you. Now on the con number two, and this is to me less of a big deal, but it is a big deal to some people, the airport, which is actually out in this area as well, is a very small airport. You don't have very many direct flights to many places. I know a lot of people that are moving to the area are still working and travel a lot for work, or you just wanna travel for fun. This airport is fairly small. It's not gonna have many direct flights. The closest international airports are Atlanta and Nashville, and those are gonna be just a couple hours away. So for those larger airports, you're looking at a couple hour drive. So that's con number two. Con number three is that Chattanooga overall has a bit of a lower school rating. So if the school rating is important to you, then I would definitely recommend checking out greatschools.org because there are some great schools in the area, but overall it has a little bit of a lower rating. So make sure you do check that out. And if that's important to you, get in one of the areas that has a higher school rating. Actually, the, the first couple areas, like we mentioned, Signal Mountain has uh, very highly rated schools up there. So there are some, but just make sure that you check that out if you are looking to move to the area. Now, con number four, this is another really big one and it kind of goes along with the first one. And that's the traffic in Chattanooga. You know, as we mentioned, the metro population for Chattanooga is just over 500,000. So it's not very big, but the traffic actually gets really bad. And if you're on that far side of Chattanooga, like I said, to get to here, it could take you easily 45 minutes because the traffic starts to get bad. Even during non-rush hour times, I mean, it can be you know 1 p.m. in the afternoon and the traffic can start to get pretty bad on the interstate through there. So for the size of the city, the traffic in Chattanooga is actually pretty bad. That's call number four. So hopefully this video has helped give you guys an idea for what Chattanooga is like. If you are thinking about moving to the area and you have questions, feel free to shoot us a text, give us a call or send us an email. We would love to connect with you. All our contact information is down in the description below. If you're kind of curious about the different parts of Tennessee, check out our other videos of the different cities and towns around Tennessee. Or if you're trying to make that decision about which part would be the best fit for you, feel free to reach out and we'd love to walk through that with you and have a conversation about that. If you're ready to make that move and you wanna be connected with one of our agents in these local markets, we'd love to connect you with them as well. So again, save our contact information, reach out to us whenever you are ready. Other than that, I will see you on the next video.